Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and TGIF, happy Friday. The week is over, and now it's time to kick back, relax, and ease on into the weekend. So on Tuesday, I told you guys that today I would be opening some mail, and that is indeed what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be opening one of the thicker envelopes I have in my stash from Trading Card Database. Uh, there's a bunch of awesome cards in here. This is one of the bigger trades I did recently, and uh, we'll we'll be checking out what uh, what I got in here shortly. But also today's video. Uh, we're going to be seeking redemption. Yes. Now, if you're wondering why I'm seeking redemption on this Friday of all Fridays, that is because on Wednesday, I hit up Tim Hortons in the morning, got myself a large double-double, and I got myself one single pack of trading cards. I got home and decided, you know what? I'm going to film a short opening this pack because I did not do one on Sunday. I like to do a uh, Sunday short from time to time just to, you know, keep things fresh or whatever you want to call it. And I opened the pack and what's inside? Two base cards. No hit. And um, I was not happy. So I hit up Tim Horton's this morning and I didn't pick up one pack of cards but I picked up six so hopefully there are no two card packs here today hopefully they're all three card packs and it would be nice if we could still possibly hit a flow of time or any of the red die cuts I'm still missing or you know, the odd gold etching or whatever. So we will we will find out in just a bit. But before I get to opening anything, uh, I wanted to take the time and give a couple of shout outs in regards to Tim Hortons. Um, big shout out to For the Pulls and Canadian Card Breakers on doing a monster Tim Hortons trade and uh, actually for the polls uh, put out a video I believe it was um, I think it was yesterday on Thursday um, showing off the card that he got and uh, let's just say I wish I I amassed enough Tim Horton stuff to do a trade like this because yeah, this this was a monster card he got, and uh, he even titled his video uh, "Biggest Tim Hortons Trade He Ever Did." Now I'm not going to tell you guys what card he got in this trade, but uh, I will post a link in the description below of that video, and uh, yeah, go go check it out after watching this because it's pretty damn cool. And secondly, I want to give a big shout out to uh old man game because he received a couple of tim hortons packs from for the polls and in the first pack he opens nonchalantly he's like oh we got so and so as our hit very nice come to find out uh it it was a monster pull from a tim hortons pack again not going to tell you what card he pulled, but there is a link in the description below to that video. And speaking of uh, Canadian Card Breakers, there's a link to their channel below as well uh, because they opened a lot more Tim Hortons packs than I did and they pulled some pretty cool stuff. So go check out uh, Canadian Card Breakers channel and check out all the cool Tim Hortons stuff. Uh, they ripped into as of recently. All right, so we got the shout outs out of the way. Um, gave you a little description of what's going down today. So let me just take a sip of my double double. And um, let's get to it. Actually, I need my knife. 
So let me let me get that placed. Then we could get to uh, checking out some cards. All right. So I'm just gonna rip into this, and then uh, we'll uh, see what we got here. Get off my knife. All righty. Let's pull this out. Make sure there's nothing inside. Nope. Okay. Very good. Uh, this is very well taped. I will give this person props for that. Okay. But I must find a way to get in this as quick as possible. So I don't find myself, you know, trying to uh, amuse you guys until I do get all the packaging open. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Well, actually, no, I still got to get all the cards out. Okay, hold on a second, folks. We're not out of the forest yet. <laughs> We're almost, though. We're almost out. Painter's tape off. Okay. Oh, you just put everything in a binder sheet. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's get these out. Those. Those. Come on. Those. Those. Man, there's, there's a lot of cards here. Holy moly. We even got some young guns in here. Those. 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 And finally. Those. All right. Oh. And it's a. It's an ultra pro. Uh, ultra pro. Ultra pro platinum sheet. So I will hang on to that. All my cards that go into binders only go into uh, Ultra Pro sheets. So, yes, yes, call me bougie. I don't care. <laughs> All right, let me just flip some of these around. Okay, flip that around, flip that around. Flip these around. Flip that one. Right there. Flip you over. Da, 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 da. All right. So I got everything out. Close up the knife. Like Card Wolf, we practice safe knife safety here. So we got a nice thick chunk of cards here. Starting with a Brinson Pastchnuk Young Gun. We got a Bernie the St. Bernard mascot card. We got a Sabretooth mascot card. And we got a Nordy mascot. And this is the uh, the speckled um, variation. So we got that. We got an Austin Strand young gun. Got a Hayden Verbeek young gun. Got a Glenn Godden Young Gun. Let's see, any more Young Guns? No. Now we got a bunch here of um, 2004-2005 in the game uh, franchises. That it was. It's one big set. I think it's like 500 cards, but it was divided into. Uh, was it Canadian? Uh, U.S. East, U.S. West, and Update. And um, anytime I see those in dollar boxes, 50 cent boxes or whatnot, I, I, I go giddy for them because I just love the look of them. And um, yeah, there's some pretty cool ones. So we got Paul Reinhardt, Clint Benedict, Dave Semenko, R.I.P. Mr. Ambidextrous, Bill Dernan. 
Turk Broda. And actually, I'm very happy that I have this because uh, I actually have a, a pretty neat idea for uh, next Friday. Uh, since next Friday is November 11th, Remembrance Day, uh, I, I'm um, playing around with an idea of doing a little video uh, showcasing, um, you know, some hockey players and whatnot who actually served in the military. So uh, I know Turk Broda was, I believe, in the Canadian Armed Forces, or he served in the uh, RCAF, I forget. I have to do some research, but uh, yes. That is an idea I'm playing around with for next Friday. And we also got Phil Esposito with the Rangers. And we got Phil Esposito with the Bruins. <laughs> then we got a bunch of um, 90-91 OPG. So we got Matthew Schneider, Glenn Healy, Kirk McLean, Joe Sackick, I don't know why I froze on his name there for a second, Teppo Newmanen, Stefan Fissette, rookie card, got a Brett Hull award uh, card, Lady Bing award winner card, and we've got a Patrick Waugh Vezina trophy winner card. We've got Larry Robinson with the Kings. And we've got, speaking of Canadian card breakers, Andy Moog, his uh, favorite goalie. And then we got from 1997, 97, <laughs> 1997 Pacific, we got a Marty Broder. Click. That's 111 unique broders in the collection now. Woohoo! <laughs> Alrighty. So I'll just put these here. And now, let's crack these suckers open and see if we can pull anything that we still need for our set. And whatever I do still need for my set. Uh, I'll uh, I'll look over my checklists at the end of the video, and then uh, I'll come back and let you know if uh, opening these six packs were a bust or if I actually needed anything. So we got uh, John Tavares, Mr. Hat Trick last night. So that's very cool. And then we got a Marner and Talbot base. Uh, I don't really need any of the base now because well I've. I've completed the uh, the base set a while back, so they just go in the... Oh my god, we got a flow of time. <laughs> Nathan McKinnon, flow of time. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and we got a Shesterkin and a P.K. Subban base. Woo! That's automatic redemption right there, baby. All right, pack number three. Uh, it's a hockey triumphs. <laughs> I, I've completed that uh, subset as well, and then we got Malkin and Carlson. All right, next. Oh, oh, ho, look at that. Cole Caulfield in motion phenoms. I needed that one. And then we got Devon or Devin De 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 Devon Taves and Chandler Stevenson. Alright. Two more packs. What we got? We got a red as I annihilate this pack of Andre Vasilevsky. I believe I have that one already. Again, I'll double check after I uh, open this last pack here. And then we got Kirill the Thrill and Blake Wheeler. All right. Final pack. We've got a 
Is that Nick Suzuki? Yes, sir. Superstar Showcase. Followed by a Seth Jones and a Jonathan... <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to go check and see which of this stuff I actually still need for my set. And uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So I checked my checklist and it turns out that uh, I obviously do not need this Andre Vasilevsky uh, Hockey Triumphs because I have the whole subset completed. Uh, I do not need the John Tavares red die cut or the Vasilevsky die cut. So if anyone out there are missing those two reds, let me know. But I did need the Suzuki Superstar Showcase, the Caulfield In Motion Phenoms, and of course, the big one of this rip, the Nathan McKinnon Flow of Time, which is weird because I thought I actually had this one already. Turns out I didn't. Anyway, folks, that's it for this Friday. Also, uh, this... This isn't the only stuff I have for trade. I have a bunch of stuff from this year's Tim Horton set for trade. So if anyone out there is looking for stuff, hit me up either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. Send me a DM or something. Send me your list of what you're missing and uh, I'll, I'll go through my box and I'll let you know what I got and I'll let you know what I need and hey... Let's do a trade. Let's work something out. All right. Anyway, folks, before this video gets longer than it already is, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys have a great remaining Friday, and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday, where I'm going to be going over part two of all the awesome stuff that I picked up last weekend at the Lancy Expo 2022. Alrighty, folks. So that's it for me. So, as I say at the end of every video...